No Pokemon Go. KTV. Hi. Hey, are you ready to go biking? Are you asleep, Kai? Who would like to go to the bathroom there? <laughs> what? I am Logan Beck and welcome to today's wonderful adventures here in Taiwan. Today we are in Nantou County going to one of my very favorite places here in Taiwan, Zhidatan, Sun Moon Lake. It's a beautiful place, I love it, I go there a lot. Now when you're in Nantou and you're heading off to Sun Moon Lake, you will pass this massive, this incredible monastery. It's a Buddhist monastery, it's called Zhong Tai Chan Monastery. Big place and I'm going to show you, this is my first time actually being here. I've drove past it many times. So I am just stoked to see this place. It is epically beautiful and very majestic. There's lots of things to do here as well as there's lots of food. So my wife Kai and a whole lot of other people are here and we're going to check it out. But first let me tell you something okay. We came here on one of those big tour buses and something was on the big tour bus that I would have never expected to be on a tour bus. KTV. Okay, if you do not know what KTV is, it is just karaoke. That's basically what it is. And Asians are obsessed with it, especially here in Taiwan. Wherever you go, there's a big KTV area where you can just go in and sing. Well, I've never, like, I would never have thought, it never crossed my mind that there would be KTV on a traveling bus like this. So, mind blown. People are just passing the mic back and forth, cheering people on. It is crazy. So, I'm going to go enjoy myself a great Taiwanese KTV experience. So, yeah, I would have never guessed that KTV would be on one of those buses, but hey, they love it here in Taiwan. Well, now it is time to go check out that big monastery right behind me. So, let's go. And also, something all of you guys should know when you come to this Buddhist monastery is no Pokemon Go. Okay guys, I really hope that you like to see that Buddhist monastery just as much as I did. It's a wonderful place and it's actually the largest Buddhist monastery here in Nanto County. Another monastery and, and like Buddhist museum that you guys should check out is Fo Guangshan. It is in Kaohsiung. I made a video about it. I'll put the link down below so you guys can watch it. Both of these places are beautiful, especially I love this one how it's in the mountains and it's not too far away from my favorite place that we are going to go into in just a second. Sun Moon Lake, Zhijiatan. So, I'm going to check this place out. There's lots of food, there's lots of people. It's going to be fun, and then we'll go. So, let's hit the road. Okay guys, we are taking a pit stop on the road at a place that I have never been to, and I'm actually really excited about it. If you look right here, there is this big rock. It says right here, Taiwan Hongcha uh, Hongcha de Guxiang. So just like Taiwan's little village of Hongcha of red tea leaves. So this is where they grow, but if you look once again, I am on top of this mountain. That is Zhijiatan, right over there. So we're just up on this mountain, and there are just a whole lot of rows of these beautiful tea plants all over this area. It is beautiful. I'm going to walk right over here. Come with me, run! And you can just overlook this area and you get a view like that. So I'm going to look around for a little bit and then we're heading back down the mountain to Yuyatan. so far. You see, it's all a big mystery to me. You see, today I am with a business right now. My wife and I, we have a friend and her business is taking the entire company out on a fun little company outing today. They're going and just having fun, relaxing, doing some fun things and going to do that time. 
So I said it's a mystery because I have no clue what's happening today. This whole time they've just been going places and I just, I just grab my camera and just film what's there and learn as we go. So it has been fun. It's been a surprise that we went to the tea area and that we went to the, the Buddhist place today. So it's just been a blast. But this is them. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Yeah. So that's them. I'm just, I'm just with them today. So it's pretty fun. I always love making new friends and uh, going on a big bus today with this whole company is really fun. So I am really grateful though that they are giving me the opportunity to make a video so you guys can have some fun watching and seeing how beautiful Taiwan is. So I heard, I heard that we are going to go ride some bikes all around this beautiful lake of Rudetan, Sun Moon Lake. So let's go check that out. Oh, Whoa, okay, we are riding a bike, guys. Okay, guys, I am so excited for this. I've always seen people riding bikes around Sun Moon Lake, but I've never done it myself. So I'm excited that we get the experience. Just a second, I've got to show you what Mr. Kai is riding in. Hey, are you ready to go biking? Hello! Ah! Mr. Kai! This is actually a lot of fun. Okay, so all around Yuretan, Sun Moon Lake, there are these beautiful paths that go all around the whole thing. And so you can just take your bike, you can go running. Today we went to a store where we rented our bikes. It's 100 Taiwan dollars. That's a little bit more than three dollars. Pretty fun. You get some exercise and you can breathe the nice, beautiful air of this beautiful lake, Sun Moon Lake. So I'm going to catch up to Mr. Kai and the wife. Let's do this. Sleep, Kai? Oh my gosh, he fell asleep on the bike ride. We're not done with the ride yet. <laughs> Mr. Kai, we'd like to go to the bathroom there. <laughs> what? Okay guys, biking around Sun Moon Lake was so fun. Absolutely loved it. And I love this whole little vacation, especially where I didn't really know what was going on. It was all planned by these guys. So I would like to say thank you to Fu Bang Ren Shou. It's, an, it's just an insurance company here in Jianghua. Really awesome group of people that just wanted to let me go have fun with them. So they're awesome. Hey, Xie Daja. Mi Jiang. Yes, okay. <laughs> they all like Mi Jiang too. Okay guys, well today's adventures are great and we just, and it's just started raining. So it's perfect that we're headed back in this beautiful bus and we're gonna be headed back to Jianghua and Mr. Kai and my beautiful wife and I, we're going to go have some of my favorite thing, Xue Hua Bing. So let's go. Okay guys, we are back in the beloved Jianghua City. And we are now at one of my favorite places to eat, Xue Hua Bing, shaved ice. This place is called, if you look right there, Da Wan Gong. Da Wan Gong. This place is really good. It is a, a big chain store. And I believe wherever you go throughout Taiwan, you can find one of these stores. This one so happens to be in downtown Jianghua City next to the hospital and my wife and I love to come here. Fun place, fun staff, and the ice is so amazing. My personal favorite is the chocolate shui hua bing, the chocolate shaved ice. It is, it is spectacular. What's your favorite kind of shaved ice? I want to know though. So put in the comments down below if there's something I haven't tried yet, I may just try the one that you tell me to try. Okay, well, okay. Oh. I love strawberry, so I'm excited for this one. I also love to put these little chocolate cereals on there, but this is, I'm so excited for this. Stress, fresh strawberries. Oh. 
这个很夸张的好吃，很新鲜的味道。哦，这个好厉害。That bing is amazing. I don't know why I haven't tried fresh strawberry bing before, but that that is amazing. So I'm going to back with my wife, and we're going to eat the rest of it. <laughs> so good. So once again, I do want to know what your favorite kind of strawberry hua bing, chua bing, whatever it is. Put it down in the comments below. I'm curious. Oh, chua bing. Oh, see you, Okay, well, today was fun. I loved biking around Yuyatan. That was a blast. I hope I can do it again. So thanks for joining my adventures with me. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and join the adventures with me as I go all over Taiwan and eat a lot of Taiwan shaved ice. <laughs> so, I think you guys all know the drill. I need a mini jug. Until next time, I'll see you in Taiwan.